Yo, I had to delete a hell of videos off my recording. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to go ahead and talk about liquidity and uh, target points today. Um, we're going to keep it simple and just use the starting point as our point of interest, right? We're going to go ahead and follow trend. Excuse me. Do um, you guys want buy examples or sell examples? Let me know. Uh, let's go with um buys. All right, bro. Yes, Thanks sir. for unmuting. Thanks for unmuting. Yeah, of course, bro. Guys, yeah, absolutely. Guys, if you're ever lost while I'm explaining or, or drawing the stuff out, make sure you unmute and let me know right away. Don't wait. Let me know that you know where you're confused, where I you know where I lost you. That way we can go ahead and and uh, correct that. But let's go ahead. Market is bullish right now. Market's bullish, so market's gonna give us a nice rally to the upside, right? Boom. Now at one point sooner or later, market's gonna have to pull back. Sooner or later, market is going to have to pull back and start creating structure, right? Because it's not just it doesn't just go in a straight line. So boom, as market pulls back. We know in order to get a BOS continuation, the market needs to break above that, right? All we have right now is higher high, higher low, and we need another bullish rally to break above and give me that mm -hmm. BOS continuation move. Vinny, hey man, hey man uh, I was asking real quick. Um, I stepped out real quick, but um, what's the top topic at a topic at um, uh, what's the a topic? I'm, I'm sorry, man. What's the, uh, the topic? The topic is going to be liquidity yeah. and target points. All right, awesome. Man. All right, cool, cool. Bet. All right, so we know market gave us a nice pullback, and we need a BOS continuation to give us that breakout rally. All right, so let's go ahead. Boom. Market gave us a nice BOS. Right, nice BOS. Solid. Right, levels is going to help you out. Level is going to go ahead and give you that arrow. Boom. Blue arrow. Blue continuation arrow. And market's going to tell you BOS. Boom. All right. And then levels is going to help you out and give you a box. Right, so when you see this setup, you should already be thinking continuation, right? Continuation. Let's go ahead. Boom. So this is it right here. This is our setup. We have higher high, higher low, and higher high, right? We need market to come back in this area so we can go ahead and continue trend, right? So now that we got that BOS move, we got that BOS. We've identified our, our breakout rally. Boom. Breakout rally. Not sure why that's red. Now we have to find our starting point. Right? So as soon as we get that breakout rally, we have to follow that rally right back down to the last uh, selling candle. So we got one, two, three, four, and then boom. Right here's our starting point. That last selling candle is going to be our point of interest for buys. Right? Why, why that last selling candle? That last selling candle is what started this massive massive bullish momentum right let's go ahead so as soon as we see this setup guys this is it we're waiting like we're we, we're doing nothing but waiting right now right this wick down here is going to be our stop loss boom if you place your your stop loss a couple pips below that's totally fine it's totally up to you you don't have to be super super tight with it right now, again, you can enter off the first touch or the 50%. That is completely up to you. That is totally preference. Right now, this is the thing. Whenever we see market start to, where is it? I wanted to, just, I wanted to use something specific. Is it this? All right. So once you see market make that U-turn, guys, and start coming back for you, dude, this area right here, this area right here is going to be your take profit zone, right? We tell everybody one to three when you come in because it's a lot easier to remember and you're not doing nothing wrong. Like that is, you need one to threes in order to stay profitable, 
right? In order to stay profitable, you need one to threes minimum. Now, to get more advanced, you, you, most people will use market structure for target points, right? So the way I like to say it, when market flips that U-turn and comes back for you, this area right here is going to be your main swing target point. That's what we would like to hold to. Give me a one if that makes sense. Give me a one. If you if I'm lost, if you're lost, if I lost you, give me a question mark. There's a 24 and I got four ones right now. Are you guys lost? We're good. All right. So it looks like I'm talking to you four. Costo, Sway, Jesus, and, and Jose. Let's get it, guys. It's me and you tonight. So as soon as market makes that U-turn and comes back for us, guys, boom. This is going to be our main swing TP point. Now, we have to locate structure on the way down to my buy. So as market starts to pull back, let's actually draw it out. As market starts to pull back, we have to focus on the pullbacks, guys. Pullbacks are so important when it comes to levels, right? So as market's pulling back, you may see nice little pullback in market structure, right? Lower low, lower high, market continues down. And then the same thing. Hey, may um, oh, Vinny, hey, Vinny, man, I want to ask you, ask you something real quick. On so, um are the on on the on um our like main uh, on our like main uh, target uh, point um is that um is does that like matter if that's like a one to a three or like one to a five or does it I'll change a change no, so like um sometimes our, it'll our, be uh, strategy yeah sometimes it'll be one to fives one to sixes one to sevens the minimum yeah. we want to use is one to threes. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, for we sure. want to use is one to threes. Now, if it's above one to three, that's totally, totally fine. But we definitely have okay. to make sure we find that one to three area, right? Yeah. And and partial out there, or find a market right. structure and partial out there. All right. Then awesome. Cool. Cool. Yes, sir. So notice this, guys. On the way down to my buy, notice how market structure breaks, right? Bos to the downside. Now, in order to get a reversal market would need to break above this lower low lower high lower low market would need to break above that in order to look for another buy right so just keep that in mind we need change of character here now this is where it starts to get more advanced guys but as long as you draw when i draw things are going to be okay i promise you Right, so boom. So now market can do whatever it wants between this uh, th uh, this zone and this zone. The more it messes around, guys, the more liquidity it's gonna make for us. Right, so let's just go ahead. Market comes up to this starting point and it may sell off. Right, the more, the more it starts to play around in this area right before your buy, guys, that is liquidity. That's what you want to see. You want to see a buildup of money, right? You want to see a buildup of money. So not only do we have um, the, you know, the sell starting point, right? The sell starting point. Now, in my opinion, I'm personally not one who looks for a sell to buys. If market's just uptrending, I'm gonna look for the buys. That's me. Now, if you want to catch sell to buys, that's totally up to you. You just have to stick to your strategy. Right, stick to the plan, know where to put your stop loss, know where to put your entry, make sure you have good money management, good risk to award, all that good stuff, right? But if market is uptrending, guys, I'm personally someone who would rather just catch the buy, right? We got higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. We gotta look for that buy here. So in my opinion, I'm just waiting, right? I'm just waiting. But the more money it builds up in this area, the better for us, right? So let's say, Market gives us that that BOS to the downside, right? Market's continuing to break structure. Right now, this is the closest pullback to market structure. Lower low, 
lower high, and we're looking to buy here, right? So this is the closest pullback. In order to change character and look for uh, buys now, it would have to break that. So let's say market doesn't respect or doesn't even touch this buy area. If market wants to reverse, it would have to give me this in order to look for another buy. So if that doesn't happen, guys, it has from here, it has from here to here to mess around. Just do what, let it, let it do what it does, guys, right? We're going to go ahead and just set alerts. Alert right there. Let's make this orange. Alert. Boom. Right? So let's say market pulls back. Right? The more market structure it makes, the better for us. Boom. Cool. So let's say market comes back now. Boom. We're alert. We just got an alert. We should be at our desk now, right? We should be on our phone, right? We should be looking at the charts now, right? So boom, we got an alert. Let's delete that. Market touches our area. Now, where's my closest pullback now, guys? Where's my closest pullback to my entry? It was this. Where should I move this to? If you guys want to annotate, you guys can definitely annotate. Where should I move this zone to? Let's go, Acosta. Let's go. Why? Notice how we broke a low. Coming down to our, yes, sir. Coming down to my buy area. So right now we got lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. It's now in my buy area. You can delete that, please, and thank you. Right? So now we need this change of character. We need it, right? But we cannot forget it's still a starting point. Why is it a starting point? Because market broke structure to the downside. This last buying candle started this bearish momentum, right? So this is the thing now. Now we have multiple target points. This is my full swing, right? But we still have structure that needs to be respected inside. Right, so this is where we get more advanced. So market uh, enters my zone. We're looking for buys. Let's go ahead. So boom, guys, this right here. This is a TP zone, a partial zone, right? Let's say a partial zone, especially if we're looking up here, guys. This is the closest starting point right what if market respects and then continues to drop and you took out no money and you took out no money does that make sense guys when you see a starting point right there you need to take some type of partials because how do we know buys are really confirmed guys how do we know buys are really confirmed by looking at the setup what needs to happen what needs to happen in order to continue looking for more buys or to give us confidence market is going to continue to go our way market market. i'm sorry y'all went at the same time change of character yes sir we need this change of character so boom we partial out let's say it, you know it goes our way and we get that change of character so now we can change this to boom we got that, baby. Let's go. We got that. Stay up to date. Now, I know we could see an extra entry, but I just want to focus on liquidity and target points. We're just going to focus on that today. We're going to keep it very simple, right? So we got our change of character. <clears throat> this was target point one. Where's our second target point based off the of structure, guys? Where should I put this? <coughs> Where should I put this to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? There's going to be times where we may even look like it has some equal highs. You can delete that. Thank you, brother. It might even look like we have some type of equal highs. Guys, when you see that, that's take profit two. Take profit two. 
right? So let's just delete this for now. We know we had the change of character. Market is going our way. So now we have our entry. Boom, market's going our way. We should already be at some type of break even. Market hit our take profit one. Boom, we partial out. Market hits take profit. Let's actually just draw another candle. Market hits some take profit two. We partial out a little bit more, right? So we just hit take profit one, take profit two. Now, what if you didn't, what if you hit both of those zones, guys, and you didn't partial out nothing? What if you hit those zones and you partial out absolutely zero dollars in your trading account? How would you feel, bro? Trust me. Greedy. My bad. I didn't. I didn't hear you, bro. I feel bad. I get unconfident. Exactly. Exactly. And it's all about making sure your confidence is up, right? Even if you take a loss, if as long as you follow the strategies, you should or you should feel calm. But if you're up, if you're up and you've been up for a couple hours, a day or two. And it hits some uh, take profit points where you should have partialed, and you never partialed, and it hits your stop loss at break even, bro. You're gonna be pissed, bro. You're gonna be very pissed. You're gonna. That's the type of stuff that makes you not want to look at the computer for a couple of days. You'll be you'll be thinking about that shit all day. You'll be thinking about that all day, bro. All day, and especially if you didn't move the stop loss to break even. Oh, blood, you just took all that profit and then boom, takes you out in the negative. Right, guys? So no matter what, let's say, boom, take profit two, we're able to partial out. Now market does what market does, right? I mean, market's not just going to go up all the time. Market's going to do what market does. Now at this point, we're at break even already, and we've already taken partials twice. Right? We're good. We're absolutely good, guys. Now, if market wants to go ahead and play around, hey, be my guest. Be my guest. It's all good. Now, let's just say it does what it does. And then, boom. Hey, it What's up? Yeah, so let's say we did take partial out twice. And then on it's now going towards the third TP. When it's going down, what do you recommend? Do you recommend us to close it or just leave it? Well, the thing is, we're looking for continuations, right? We're looking to continue trend, right? We're looking to hold this for a while, right? If market's uptrending, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high higher low higher high in order to can get in order to get a new bos continuation it would have to break above this right so you already sniped it at the lowest point possible and you're able to put some money in your account twice we still would have to get this in order to look for more continuations right so if you already partial out twice bro this is where you have to ask yourself as a trader you need to have this conversation with yourself we can tell you to do this but at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do, right? We can give you all the tips and tricks in the book, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to fight your ego, your pride, your stinginess, all that stuff, right? Are you going to hold to the swing point? Or are you going to go ahead and close out early with profit? There's nothing wrong with either of them. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right? Because you're not wrong. Like, you can't be thinking you're wrong for protecting your capital. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't think like that. As long as, you, at the end of the day, you're profitable and you caught a nice trade, you can always look for another continuation. Like, there's another continuation in here. I'm pretty sure people are, are seeing. I'm just not focusing on it because I'd rather focus on target points. You know what I mean? So, just keep that in mind. What do you mean by continuations? How long have you been in here, Juan? How long have you been with us? Um, I just started today. 
Oh man, nice. Yeah, so you, I just you, you're yeah. very new. All right, so cool. So this is a little bit more advanced call, right? Yeah, first and foremost, welcome in. But this is a little bit more of an advanced call. Now, the person who brought you in is gonna um, break this down more in depth, right? And I also have a YouTube channel that breaks this down. I have a couple of videos in there. So what I mean trend continuation, it's very important to know where your higher highs and higher lows are. Now, again, this is your first day. So don't feel like, oh man, I can't understand it. It's your first day, bro, like you're good. You know what I mean? You're gonna learn this in your first month, I promise you. So market is bullish right now, we're buying. Market is buying. So notice how market likes to breathe, right? It'll exhale and then inhale, right? And that gives us a higher high, higher high point, higher low point. Now in order to get a BOS, BOS means break of structure, right? So in order to continue trend, market needs to break above this. That lets us know market's continuing higher. Does that make sense? Yeah. Awesome. So when that happens, bro, we have to capitalize on this area here and look for the next move. So we can go ahead and capture the next one. Right, because right, it's the same thing over and over again. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So in order to continue trend, market would need to break above this. Boom, we get that. Now we need to capitalize on this area down here to give us the same exact thing. Now again, it's your first day, bro. But as long as you're taking notes, I promise you, this may not um, click today but in a month or two, bro, if you take solid notes and you watch this video over a couple of times, this will make sense. I promise you. Right? I promise you. Right? Um, but guys, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and look for some type of setups. And... Let's see if we can, um, let's see if, depending on how market structure look, I'll, I'll, I'll break things down to you guys. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and look for some setups. Um, give me some pairs. You know, I'm going to go ahead and look through some things, but let me see. Give me something, guys. Can we check the gold or JJ? Let's see. Let's see what gold got for us. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the daily. As of right now, just give me some structure points. So let's go ahead and put on the blue box because the market is uptrending as of right now. Right, so this is this is pretty important too. Let's just look at this right here. All right, let's look at this right here because this was a continuation move. Right, we do break above structure. We do break above structure, right? And levels is helping me out saying, yo, we just got a BOS to the upside. Right, so where's my starting point? Right here. Boom. Now look at how, look at how, let's see. Market made that U-turn and came back for us, right? Market hit that U-turn and came yep. back for us. You know what I mean? So right, at automatic, I'm looking to hold to there. That's my swing point. Right? So right now, if I enter here with my stop loss at the low, that's already a 1 to 4.2. Right? So you're going to you guys are going to start catching more than 1 to 3s and that's obviously what we want, right? That's what we want. Now, let's go ahead and uh, drop down one time frame to see if we can get some type of partial points inside of here. Let's see if market structure can do that for us. Now, I already see one, right? I already see one. Now, this is the daily. So let's just focus on this right now before we drop down. We know this is where market made that U-turn to come back. So this is already our main swing point. Now, let's just follow market structure. As market structure drops, we get a pullback, right? And then market touched my zone. So automatically, that's going to be a target point as well, right? And that right there is already a, a one to two. That's a solid partial point right there. So 
So now let's go ahead and drop down to the four hour. Oh, that break and retest went stupid. All right, cool. So we can see we even have a starting point right here, guys. Levels letting us know. We got a red arrow, so there should be a red box right here. Letting us know, let's look for cells, right? Let's look for cells, right? And my starting point would be right here. Right, that would be my starting point. So this can... This is also a partial point right there. Look how it hit that zone. And if you didn't partial out, guys, look at this. If you didn't partial out, you're giving money back. Now, obviously, there's going to be more continuations you can grab up here. I promise you there's going to be. But I want to keep it simple for you guys today. Right? I want to keep it simple for you guys today. Because all you need is one trade and good partial points. Right? So notice right here, we got our closest pullback right here lower low lower high lower low change of character break and retest boom partial one hits the starting point partial two and by that time we should already be at break even partial out a couple times and hit tp3 take pro uh, take profit three Right, give me a five if that makes sense. Let me know if you if you're lost. Give me a question mark. Oh. Oh, Vinny, hey man, hey What's man, up? I want to ask you. I have to. Um, at what point are you taking or are you um are you like moving like your stop loss to? Uh, to like a break even or are you doing that at all or no yeah so that's a good question that's a good you, question so. personally yeah no yeah so i do now for me i yeah. like to do it around one to one so right here boom one to one now why do i do that i got that from mike right whatever mm -hmm. i i i, I kind of butcher this when i explain it i feel like oh it's all good <laughs> but whatever market gives me as my zone Yes, sir. Let's just say this is 20 pips ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All, all market technically needs to give back. I mean, I don't want to say needs, but right. it can solve an easy 20 pips, and that's good enough for me. As soon as I okay. hit one to one, I'm already at break even. Like the market owes me nothing else, you know? Yeah. And if, if you want to go ahead and watch Mike for that, yeah, no, for sure. He's very good at explaining that, right? He's very good at you. explaining that. Got you. Um, and then, um, at um 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 at the, so like so like if it hits if it hits like the one to one, like are you just, um, uh, 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 breaking even or, or or on top of that, are you also taking out the, uh, taking out partial or just, uh, uh, just a uh, just a uh, just a uh, just a uh, uh, I'm sorry, bro. No, you're or good, just you're good. even. Uh, for <clears throat> for me, yeah. I usually, just go break even. Okay, okay. I'm I'm not. I I, I like to take my partials at minimum one to two, or okay. at a certain partial point. Now you can see okay. just here with this market structure, this is a pretty yeah. solid partial point. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's okay. also around. I would say one to two. It looks like. All right, then. awesome. Now, bro. It's cool, just cool. it's just shy of one to two, but that's still that's solid. Like that's a good. Partial. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, right, so one to one, I like to go break even. Yes, sir. Um, and then one to two, I like to partial. Okay, nice, bro. Awesome. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank hey, you. man. Yes, sir. Boom. Good question. Good question. All right, bet. So let's go ahead and delete this now. Let's delete that. Now, let's look at some type of um, continuation. Let's go to a different time frame, though. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch some cell continuations. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, here. Um, let me see real quick. All right, I'm just going to go with the cleanest one here. And for me, it's this one. We have a red, a red arrow. And there should be a red box here. Right, so where's my starting point? Right here, guys. This last green candle, that's my starting point. Sniped it. Right, sniped it. Now, where did market make that U-turn for me? Who wants to draw that? Where did market make that U-turn? Oh. Right here? Yes, right here. Right, market dropped, broke structure, and we know based off that, guys, I mean, we got a clean break of structure, right? Clean BOS, levels is helping us out. This is a nasty, nasty rally, bro. Nasty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red candles. Whoever caught that, a hey, good, promise you, right? Now we have to find the last buying candle that started that rally, and it's going to be this small one right here. Boom. Right. So right here, this is going to be our main TP point. Now we can see a wick came lower before coming to us. If you want to count that, you can if you want. But this right here is solid as well. Right. That right there is solid as well. So let's go ahead. We know we want to sell here. All right. Yeah, sell here. Stop loss above the wicks right here. Now we want to go ahead and take this out. Now this is a pretty good example because we don't really have much structure on the way up right we we would like to see some type of structure on the way up to find more uh partial zones right we don't really have that so we're gonna have to drop down on a lower time frame to see if there's any type of, of pullbacks here right this is easily a one to ten right so with that being said now that i see there's not much partial points i'm gonna go ahead and pull it back to one to three and give me a partial point right there. Some Sometimes, guys, the setup isn't going to be that pretty. It's not going to be so easy. You guys can see it, right? It's just not. Let's see. That's been bugging all day. I need to fix that alarm. Let's delete that. Um, okay, so let's drop down to 15. We need to see some type of pullbacks in here. Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on, come on, come on, baby. We need to see some type of pullbacks in here. Okay, awesome. I do see one, and that's pretty good for me. That's good enough for me. So notice, guys. Where's my closest pullback to my entry? I want to enter here. Where's my closest pullback? If this is my entry right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and pop that right there. Boom. So I got my 1 to 3 covered. This would be a, a 1 to 7 pretty much. So now let's go ahead and hop up to the 1 hour time frame. Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. Boom. I have my partial point set. Market drops. I'm already at break even. Partial point one, partial point two, TP3 smacking. That makes sense, guys. Give me a two if that makes sense. And give me a five if I lost you. Uh, two if it on makes the sense. Peak, on the break even, right? Why do you put your stop loss low? Does that mean? Can you explain that break even, please? Okay, so break even, what that means is. My stop loss is in the negative right now. Right? This is my stop loss. So right now, let's just say I'm risking $100. This is a 1 to 10 to potentially make $1,000. Does that make sense? I'm risking 100 to make 1000 Yes, that makes sense. Okay. So now, as soon as I go from the negative to break even, what that does for me is now, instead of risking 100 I'm pretty much now risking zero. 
No, today is too soon. Right. I mean, pretty. You're still owing the broker technically, so it's not zero, right? But it's definitely not the hundred. No, it, it's not zero. You still owe the spread. You still owe the spread. So if it spreads two or three, you still owe that to your broker. But you shouldn't be losing a hundred bucks. You you'll only lose like a buck fifty or something like that, if that makes sense. So you're if you put your stop loss on your where you entered, if the market goes against if what market, you're saying, if market goes your way mm -hmm. and it drops, put your stop loss to break even or even a little bit into profit. Okay. And then let's say you did broke even, but the the market went against of what you said, what you thought. Okay, so now be. let's just say market market dropped. You put your stop loss to break even, mm -hmm. and then market goes like this. Yes. So let's say we were risking a hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as you go break even, you're now probably risking maybe like a couple bucks. And that's just off a of spread. Okay. Does that make sense when I say off a of spread? Because whatever the spread is, that's pretty much what you're willing to 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 enter in with. If spread is five, right, and it's ten cents per uh, pip, right, that would be fifty cents on zero point zero one. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Yeah, if you go break even, like right on break even, the most most likely you're still gonna lose a couple bucks, like a buck something, depending on what type your lot size is, right? If you're in the standards, if you're over leveraging, you're you're still probably gonna lose a, a couple bucks for sure. But if you're at point zero one or anything under a point one, you're probably gonna lose like a dollar, two dollars max, and that's just off a of spread, guys. All right, so I would rather lose that two dollars than the hundred. I, I you know I'm. It is what it is. If you want to go slightly into profit, so now you're you lose with the buck or something, then you know that's fine too. Totally up to you. I usually just go break even, but you do what you do. Both are not wrong, right? You need to do at least one of those two. You need to go break even or slightly into profit once market drops your direction. That's mandatory, guys. It's like, that's not negotiable. I mean that's fine. I mean, that's totally fine. Take a look at. Let's say market hits this zone. You take partial once. Let's say it doesn't hit your 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 take uh, profit two. And it goes, uh, and it hits your stop loss. But let's just say you put it into profit a little bit. Not only did you partial out some money, but you're actually in a profit a couple bucks. So you you're able to take a couple dollars more. So. Bro, I've been learning levels for two years, and I'm just just uh, breaking through. Oh, well, nice, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm happy for you, bro. That's good. All right, let's see if we can continue sales. Let's see. What, what's going on here? Um... Let's see. I would rather do something pretty clean. Um, yeah, let's do this one. All right. We'll use this starting point here. Based off the structure, let's just turn this off. We have consolidation in this area. Let's see. We have a, a, a picture in here. Give me a second. You guys can take a look at this as well. I'm not sure if the Zoom will, um, it'll show up on Zoom. It's not popping up for me for some, oh, it's loading. Um, let's see. Yeah, that, that looks, that definitely, can you guys see this, guys, or no? No? Okay. No, no thanks. Let's see. What time frame is that, bro? It's a one hour. It's gold. Okay, cool. So look at this. Notice right here we break a low, right? We have a rally breakout. So this area right here would be my starting point. Right? That right there, partial zone one, right? Especially if you're looking for buys, you have to partial here. 
Boom. Now, we get a breakout, change of character. So notice how we get another breakout rally. This would be your next buying opportunity. Starting point or your right shoulder, <coughs> which was a freaking snipe if that respects. <coughs> Excuse me. But yes, you should already, bro, be at break even. You should already have your stop loss, if not right on that dotted line, a couple pips above it. Because you're up right now. And I don't know, you're up 0.15. So, I mean, I already know at a 0.15 with gold, you're making, you know, I'm, it's pretty good. All right, pretty good, you know. Yeah, I, I took two partials out already. That's, that's good, man. That's good stuff. But is your stop loss at break even? No, I would just that's why I, I was just sending this example. If I should, right. I do, should, cool. I should do yeah. right now or not? You took some partials. Now make sure your stop loss is at break even. So at the end of the day, this trade is a winning trade no matter what. You took some partials. You play some. You play some money in your bag, right in your account. And if market reverses and hits your stop loss, it is what it is. You already caught some money. The trade was a dub. So yes, good example, bro. Thank way to you. send things in. That way you can get feedback. That's that's awesome. Way to do that. Let's see. Do we have... Oops, wrong one. That's not what I wanted. Oops. Do we have... I'm looking for someone specific. Okay, we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. All right, cool. So I'm going to just break this down real quick. Notice how we have consolidation. Support, resistance, support, resistance, right? And then we get a massive breakout and then change of direction, right? So we do break this low here. We do break that, right? We do. Levels is also helping us out with the shoulder in this area. It's dirty lead in the snow. This is the highest wick. Now, if you guys know me, I'm not really using the box like that. I'm going from the highest wick to the closest body. So let's go ahead. That's the highest wick, right? So the top of my box has to be right there. Let's turn this off. That's the highest wick. Highest wick. The top of my box has to be right there. Now, where's the closest body point? It's going to be this one. Boom. Boom. So not only do we have a left shoulder, but we do have a rally breakout, giving me sal continuations. So this right here, guys, is going to be my starting point. All right, so I'm already looking to take sell opportunities based off this, okay? So let's take a look here. All right. Where did the market come back and flip? Right here. Boom. Market made that U-turn right here. So automatically. Bro, I thought I. My bad. My bad. So automatically, I'm looking for market to come give me this drop down here. This is my main swing TP. Right? If we can get this set up. If we can get this set up here. I'd be looking at a 1 to 5.5, right? If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. But let's focus on structure now. So we know this is the main Sweden TP. Now let's just look at market structure. As market structure comes up, we get some trend line liquidity and gives us some support in this area. So this we can use this right here. Now as market comes up, notice how we get a pullback. Boom. And the levels is actually letting us know we got a starting point right here. Market touches our sell zone. So this right here is the closest pullback. That's the closest pullback to my, my sell zone. So this is mandatory. A partial area. Why? Because we have a starting point. Look at guys. As soon as it touches, if you didn't partial out, you gave some money back. So even though like 
it it touches guys hey it doesn't have to break through in order to take partials or go past it it's a starting point it could touch and reject and then you win nothing right as soon as it touches a starting point i'm looking to partial out partial out move my stop loss to break even boom awesome now where's my second partial point I'd be looking at right here in this area right so we can see it hasn't broken below this yet so I partialed out once I might break even at the end of the day it's a win if it continues to drop lower solid you know I did my job as a trader I studied it goes my it went my way solid right I'm, I'm reaping the, the the fruits of my of my benefit or my labor however that saying goes right put in the work I'm seeing results right now if you don't partial out this may just respect that part that starting point and continue to go higher right as of right now so this right here is looking pretty solid I would just like um, market to break and close below this area but as of right now there's nothing really I would like to mess with it mess with personally nothing too crazy going on unless it breaks above this then I would be interested in looking for some buys why because we never break below this starting point and then market structure is just letting us know we got shoulder head change of character let's go ahead and find some entries to go back up but as of right now that's um, all um, Vinny, um hey man um um i'm on the take profit too over there oh, over You're muted, bro. You muted yourself. Oh, hey, V. Um, on the tip, on the tip, on the tick, on the take on the side, man. Uh, no, you're good. On you're the good. take a profit two, on the take profit two, um, because that's that us um uh, uh, that us uh, um uh, that us uh, that like a study a point is as um. A big z z z zone is a, is a big z z zone. Are you taking a partials um, at first a touch? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, like yeah. This, yeah. For something like yeah. this, because it, yeah, I mean, yeah. it is a starting point. It's, levels it's big, yeah, it's big. So, I mean, it actually, it doesn't give me a starting point. Yeah, but it it still is based off the structure. Oh, okay. Rally breakout. That is a yeah. last candle before a rally. Um, yeah, you can partial as soon as it touches. You don't always have to wait for it to break the low. All right. All right, then. Awesome, man. Uh, yeah, solid question. Uh, Got you, brother. Got you. Yeah, you've been asking a lot of questions, bro. And your chart your chart work has been super clean, so. Uh, yeah, man, I'm trying to, you know. Just a I'm trying, just a I'm trying quick to shout out sure. to you, brother. Yeah. You know, good job, bro. Good job. Um, but with that being said, guys, I hope I gave you guys some value, guys. I really hope I did. I know this right here gets a lot more advanced. You're going to be scratching your head a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and place this video on YouTube um, and send it in the chats. So if you need to watch it over again, you know, go ahead and watch it over. Take a little bit of notes. If you're lost at a certain section, let me know. You know, message me in the chat, DM me, and be like, yo, can you help me out with this part real quick? That way I can go ahead and clarify things, right? We'll go ahead and continue this topic for, for the next couple of weeks. Because I feel like this is pretty important. Obviously, like one to threes, those are definitely for beginners. But as soon as you start to enter more advanced, intermediate type of stuff, and you see market dropping a whole lot, you definitely want to be able to hold those. You know what I mean? So this is solid, guys. Solid first day when it comes to liquidity and target points, right? But with that being said, guys... I wanted to end the call with some Monday talk, with some Monday value. So with that being said, Krista, if you are on, go ahead and take it away. What's up, squad? How we feeling? Woo! We survived. What's up? What's up? How's it going? 
it's fantastic. I'm ready to wrap up the day and show you guys what's been happening with the Monday range. So, so far, let me go ahead and share my screen. I should be able to share my screen. There we go. Drop one in the chat if you can see my screen. Perfect, perfect, thank you. All right, you guys, so what we see is NZDJP, sorry, NZDUSD approaching our entry. And if you guys, you know, you know, uh, it's, it's nothing as intricate as dropping time frames. This, we don't need to find starting points. We don't need to find mitigation. We don't need to find any of that. This is literally just, it is what it is, black and white, okay? We find the 50%. If it's below, we go for sells. If it's above, we go for buy. So right now, we see we're looking for sells. It's approaching our entry. Um, so that's what we have for NZDUSD. So again, um, you guys can go ahead and set a limit, screenshot this, put it into your trade. I always recommend trading this on a lower risk percentage than what you usually do. I risk a quarter of a percent when it comes to Monday range. And I also have a separate trading account specifically for Monday range. So I don't mix it in with my trades that I analyzed or trades that came from educators like Vinny or Mike or even Nancy, if you guys are in crypto, okay? So just putting that out there. Uh, London session, we have a few that are active right now. So uh, GBP Swiss, this one hit last week. You can see it like hard this one yeah this one took off and so it's kind of just seeing you know if it's going to continue up we have it as a buy and it's right now it's in um in drawdown but you know we'll see how it goes that's why we risk lower than what you normally would and so but that one is active euro gbp has not activated yet so this is another pair that you could enter in your trade again lower risk percentage know what lot size you guys are trading please we have a calculator at the top for a reason so just utilize it and euro usd i believe that one's active oof this one is active active <laughs> we just saw that jump as soon as we opened it and yeah, EJ, I'm gonna go to the ends right now. Again, just quickly going over these. Uh, again, we got you guys. We have specific pairs that we've back tested for you guys, so we don't trade every pair. So if you see Euro JPY, when the trade gets to a one to one, we move our stop loss to break even. So that would mean if it was like here. One, two, let me see. When the trade hit a one to one right here in this green candlestick, right? We moved our stop loss to break even. Well, once it hits a one to two, that's when we take partials. So we see that it wicked into our one to two and it almost actually hit our one to three. However, it decided to reverse. And so now it's back at our entry but it just cleared this liquidity so um i wouldn't enter it again and unless you're going to watch price action yourself let's see euro usd yeah it's you took partials a win's a win uh sorry usd jpy tp schmacked um nzd jpy activated so one to one. Let me see, did it hit? So we should have our stop loss at break even. So we're still in profit. And once it gets again to a one to two, that's when we'll take partials and then let the rest write out to a one to three. And again, we take partials at a one to two just so that we can you know, come out with something if it does decide to reverse, okay? And then the last one, AUD, JPY, I believe was stopped out. Yeah, this one was stopped out. So I would not enter the trade again, but we already got a one to three hit with that USD, JPY, five. So we're up 2% plus 
plus uh, half a percent, so two and a half percent. If you took half out for the what's it? EJ, yeah, EJ. So that is our live update. I hope you guys were able to get some value from the Monday range call and you guys took all the notes from Vinny tonight and you guys are ready to apply this week and show back up here on Friday night, same time, same place. Get ready for Vinny to drop the link. Don't make plans. I know it's Friday. Y'all trying to go out, step out a little, you know, dance in the name of love. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But let's go. Love you guys. And I'll see you next Monday or on Friday for Vinny's call. Love you guys. All right, guys. That, that is it. Thank you for hopping on. You guys trade responsibly this week. Send in your markups. Ask your questions. That way we can go ahead and help you. But with that being said, guys, that is it. And I will see you guys on Friday. Peace out.